when I tell you I nailed this. See what happens. Why not? That's what this channel is about. Following your dreams, experimenting, never giving up, giving up when necessary, and never say no. Unless they say no, then no means no. See, my channel's educational. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. It is my birthday in a couple of days. So I decided to make my own birthday cake this year because I'm such an expert baker. And I decided because I'm gay, I'll make one of those layered rainbow cakes because I feel like that can't be that hard. So uh, let's see how it goes. All right. I'm not making homemade cake mix from scratch. So I have some Betty Crocker super moist cake mix. And you need it to be white because we're gonna be dyeing the cake mix. Vegetable oil, eggs, food coloring, and water. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees, which we did. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Six. You can't count. <laughs> Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. All right. I need to figure out how to divide this into six. So we're doing two. I'm going to make both at once. I feel like it's a big enough bowl. Pouring that in, two cups of water. I normally don't celebrate my birthday. I mean, like, it's never really been a huge thing for me as an adult. I actually think it's kind of weird when adults, like, over-celebrate their birthday. Like, it's my birthday month, it's my birthday week, it's my, like, no. You literally said to me yesterday that it's your birthday month. We have to go to dinner, it's my birthday month. Like, calm down. We're not seven years old anymore. I did for my 30th birthday make all of my friends take me to Olive Garden in Times Square, which they all begrudgingly did, except Bob, who was not in town. Wow. Um, and we had a great time. Another one of my birthdays that happened during the pandemic, uh, we did at Bob's apartment. He had McDonald's cater. Hold on. Okay. So one time when I was a kid, I didn't really have big birthday parties either, but I remember one time I had a birthday party at a bowling alley and it was me and three friends. And then we came back to my house and put on cheer routines. It's no wonder my family wasn't surprised when I came out. Six eggs, holy cannoli. I hope this wasn't too much for this bowl, but it looks like it fits. One of my most memorable birthdays, because my birthday is in March and usually there's always like some snowstorm that holds out until March, and I'm from Pennsylvania where it's, and in the mountains where it snowed a lot. Oh my God. And for my fourth birthday, how many eggs was that? I don't know. Four. Um, for my fourth birthday, it literally snowed like four feet of snow. It was this huge blizzard. And my entire family lives in my town, so they all came. But they came on like snowmobiles and they still came. And the snow was taller than I was. And I just remember that birthday because it snowed a lot and people still came because I was loved. This thing is really powerful and kind of scares me. So I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna just do low. Okay, I think it's doing it. I was popular but I didn't have a lot of like friends. Nick, this isn't adding up. Like close friends. So really, like at bowling party, there was just three of us and one was my cousin. <laughs> this, 
and the other. Basically, every birthday always consisted of me and my childhood best friend, Dana. Shout out, Dana. What was Dana's worst birthday party? I honestly can't remember any of her parties. I don't even think she invited me. A bitch. Was she your friend? Okay. All right, so now we've discovered that you were popular with your cousins. <laughs> a sad life. Why is it yellow? It's supposed to be white. So I gotta divide this into six. I'm gonna just eyeball it. I think we stir it a little bit more. Have you ever made your own birthday cake before? I haven't. I've made like sheet pancakes before and eaten the whole one when I was growing up. <laughs> Strawberry and I would just literally eat it right out of the... Now I gotta pour this in and get it even. I, ca I can't tell if I'm doing this correctly. It smells like cake. Look, look at all of that at the bottom. I gotta zoom in on this one. Nicholas. <laughs> Wait, you gotta stir that in. Okay. Now hold on. I said it's gonna be like some really flowery. No, it's fine. There, there were stickers on the bottom of these, so they're a little <laughs> sticky. I am turning 33 this year. I know, I could pass for 18. It'll taste good, that's what matters. And it'll look pretty. And it'll look pretty. Oh, I forgot to say what my icing was. Well, that'll be a surprise. Now the fun part, we get to do some colors. So we gotta go down the rainbow. And then just like that, TikTok water guy. And then we're gonna give it a little mixeroony. Okay, I gotta say, I did that. Like, this honestly looks pretty great. How long am I supposed to put it in for? That's what she said. Two nine inch rounds, 24 to 29 minutes. Three and three? Yeah. See what happens, why not? We're doing it. The timer on. Timer. 27 minutes. I'll see you. In court. <laughs> in court. I'll see you in the tomorrow. It dawned on me <laughs> that the time was given for two full round nine inch pans. And I didn't fill these. They're all like a third of the way filled. They kind of look done. <laughs> okay, they're not done yet, but they're almost done. Should you switch the bottom and the top one? Why? Because there's no heat coming from the bottom. What? Yeah, that's where the flame's coming out is from the bottom. Isn't the heat all around? I don't know. Do you have, is it convection? What the hell is that? <laughs> 
The heat only comes from the bottom. That's where here. Open your open your oven. Okay. Well, now I gotta now I gotta switch them around. You need to put the bottoms onto the tops and the tops onto the bottoms. Oh my goodness. In gay terms. Okay, but I I have six tins. Where am I supposed to put them all? I don't know. I on the on that. Hurry, eat, because they're not gonna. Oh God. Hurry, hurry. Stop rushing me! I don't. I, can't, I don't. Oh my gosh! Hurry, man. <laughs> don't burn yourself. This is so hot. Right, those have to go in the top. You should use both hands. Oh god. All right. Hot. I think I have to eyeball, but they look kind of okay. One step at a time, falling in love. Okay. All right, there's still seven minutes, but it it does smell like they're burning. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get them out of the pans because they do not look like they're gonna come out easy but I'm gonna make this work for you all. I'm not gonna let this ruin my birthday. It's just like a gay bottom. Sometimes it's not gonna always come out clean, but perseverance and never giving up. I feel like they're cooled down enough, and I gotta say, I'm nervous. We gotta start out with red. Oh. Oh, it came out. Okay. It came out with only a little bit of brown. <laughs> Honestly, okay. Okay, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. So my surprise icing is I'm doing Cool Whip. I don't like regular icing. I'm not an icing girl. Um, but I do like Cool Whip, and I know that it can be in desserts. You ever the Cool Whip song? There's a song? Yeah, it's like Cool Whip. You know that? Cool it. Was I supposed to cut them to flatten them? Okay. <laughs> it doesn't look stable. Neither am I.
Now, if I put it on a clean plate, the piece de resistance. What's the expiration date on this? I don't know. When I tell you, I nailed this. All right, sing. Happy birthday to Nick. Happy birthday to Nick. Happy birthday, dear Nicholas. Happy birthday to Nick. I mean, that looks pretty cool. I did that. It is pretty good, you want to taste? Thank you for watching. I hope you attempt to make your own birthday cake this year. I think I nailed this. And if you think so too, let me know in the comments. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time. Hmm.